so today starting off our shorts i'm going to use the same super saver red heart yarn that i have been using and the cream or buff color um i'm using a skirt that i already made and i'm just taking it out because i didn't like the skirt anyway so yeah that's why the yarn looks all crumply because it's already been used so just letting you know that if you were wondering why my why my yarn looks so terrible <laughs> Anyway, so let's get into the rest of the things that you're going to need. So you're going to need a measuring tape to measure your hips. You're also going to need some scissors. And then you're going to need some stitch markers, possibly, if that's what you work with when you use stitch markers. Like, I don't really use them that much. Um, then a 3.75 millimeter hook. It is an F hook, I believe. It's kind of like my favorite hook next to the 5 millimeter and the 6 millimeter. But to make clothes, I usually like to use this hook. <clears throat> and so I just want to sit for a minute and talk. Um, so basically, there's a lot of ways to make crochet shorts, just like any other crochet garment. I make them all types of ways. Whatever way works for you, you can do it that way. I'll probably show on my channel how I make my shorts. And honestly... I'm just the type of crocheter that doesn't go by structure. I do what I like to do and what resonates with me, and that's just how I am. If it doesn't resonate with me, I won't do it. So I feel like people um, leave me comments in my DMs and on my channel, and they try to give me suggestions, but I appreciate them, but I, I like to work how I like to work, and my channel isn't to really show you how to make it step by step and doing my whole process is just basically giving inspiration and if you do happen to recreate something then that's great but i'm not the type of crocheter that likes to you know go by structure and all of this kind of stuff so just wanted to let you guys know that i'm going to be making stuff a lot of different kind of ways and i don't want to confuse people when you're like oh but i thought you make it this way like you can make things however you want to make it this is your craft and you get to do whatever you want so just letting you guys know that part and also I kind of got like a little comment that wasn't so nice and I was just going to let that person know that um, that doesn't bother me. That just helps me be more creative if you leave me a nasty comment. Um, it just makes me push harder so you can continue to keep on with those comments. I appreciate it. Thanks. So anyway, let's get into the video. I made a chain that was long enough to go around my hips and that was 105 chains. So you just chain up that chain. Um, you can make shorts that fit around your waist a little bit better, but um, it's a little bit harder and you have to get your measurements and math involved. So maybe I'll start doing stuff like that. Or maybe not. Maybe you'll find somebody else on YouTube that'll be able to do that for you. But right now, I just make shorts with the adjustable waistband. And that pretty much works for me um, every time I make them. So yeah. Chain up your chain. And then you want to slip stitch your chain together so you can start in a round. And once you slip stitch it, you want to prepare for a half double crochet. And I just half double crocheted around this whole circle. Every chain across, you half double crochet in. Super duper easy. I almost double crocheted there. <laughs> I've been doing so many outfits and double crochet, it's ridiculous, and I kind of want to stop. <laughs> so yeah, you have double crochet across um, every stitch. And then we'll start the rest of the pattern. And I'm sorry, you guys, my voiceover is probably going to be trash too. I'm on vacation. I came home to Virginia and I'm really tired. I don't know. It's like I'm off my schedule of what I usually do. So I'm really, really tired right now. And I was supposed to have been post this video. 
So yeah, like I said, you just want to half double crochet all the way across. And we'll come back when we're finished. All right, so now I'm going to prepare for, um, oh, <laughs> I'm going to slip stitch into the, um, that is not a slip stitch, Daniel. Okay, <laughs> now I'm going to slip stitch. And then I'm going to prepare for a double crochet. Okay, I thought I was filming, apparently, and I wasn't. So, basically, I did three double crochets. I chained two, and I skipped two spaces, and I'm doing three double crochets in the next three stitches. So, if you watched my previous video, the same way I did the bottom to the, the top that, that these shorts match, that's what you would do. So, right now, I'm chaining two, skipping two chains, and now I'm going to do three double crochets in the next three, on top of the next three double crochets. And it's just a pattern. You just do these three double crochets, chain two, and skip two spaces, and double crochet into that third chain after you skip those two, and just keep going like that. I mean, you don't have to do it like that, but that's what I did because it was supposed to be a matching set. And you guys, I wore the I wore the um the lighter colored outfit that I made that I showed you guys on my channel. Oh my gosh. I was so hot. I was like, I should have made this in cotton or something. Like the sweat was like trapped in. I was like, oh my gosh. It was a nightmare. <laughs> so shout out to anybody who wears acrylic crochet outfits because y'all are y'all y'all doing something because I can't do it. Oh my goodness. Okay, so yeah, this is basically what it looks like, and you just continue that all the way around. Now we're going to go ahead and end the row. <laughs> I'm trying to give y'all some light because it's really, really dark. But um, I'm going to chain two into slip stitch because I didn't know what else to do right there. Just slip stitch it in there. And then basically, I just double crochet the rest of the rows. Like the whole shorts is just me changing the colors. So I'm not going to show all of that. I just know that um, I'm preparing for a double crochet. I was not supposed to chain three. <laughs> and then I'm just going to double crochet all the way across. I'm about to figure out that I didn't want to chain three. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So yeah, you just go ahead and I, um, I'm double crocheting on top of the double crochets in the previous row. And then where the chain space is, I'm just going through the chains with two double crochets because I don't like to try to find the, um, the chain space because it's kind of hard. Especially with the yarn that you've already used. It's like it just doesn't look right anymore. So yeah, I'm showing you I'm just looping through there. I'm not going in the actual chains. But you can because it'll look better. So yeah, you just do that all the way around for however many rows you want to do. I did um, about 17 rows because I always like to make super duper short shorts. It's just my thing. <laughs> so yeah, basically at this point, this is the waistband. Um, these are the shorts I told you guys that I wore and I was super hot in. <laughs> so um yeah, basically, I'm just showing you what you're going to be doing because I'm not actually showing how to make the shorts because it's all double crochet. I'm not increasing. I'm not decreasing. I'm just crocheting around the same 105 chains that I made to begin with. So it's super duper easy. You just double crochet and I changed colors as I went. So yeah, and I'll come back when I get to that last row. I did not make these two shorts the same. I was trying it out to see which which way I want to make the shorts. <clears throat> and they basically both fit the same anyway. So 
it wasn't really a big difference I um yeah so I'm finished with the shorts my 17 rows and I was kind of running out of colors um so I was trying to make it work so at this point I'm going to chain a chain of about 10 and this is going to be for my crotch area um it's about three inches when I stretch it it'll be about three and a half inches and that's how long my crotch area is on most of my panties and my shorts and stuff and it's about two and a half inches wide so I made it about three inches and I'm going to slip stitch it to the other side of the shorts I didn't count to make sure I had my um an even amount around for the shorts the legs of your shorts you want to make sure that you count so you don't have one side too big and one side too small but I always seem to get the right amount you can just like eyeball it um so yeah you slip stitch that into there so it's going to create like a little bridge across to connect both of your um the back and front of your shorts and so I am going to now change colors I believe yeah I'm gonna change back to green and if you weren't changing colors you still just continue to do what I'm doing like just keep double crocheting around each um, pants hole or leg hole <laughs> I'm trying to get this yarn correct I'm struggling and don't mind my hands I have like some red marker from when I was <laughs> drawing I was sketching out this little outfit so yeah you just prepare for a double crochet and you double crochet in every chain around don't skip any chains just double crochet around and you also want to double crochet on that little bridge that we just connected with the 10 um, with the 10 chains So yeah, you just keep going around and once you reach where you um, started your chain at, you want to double crochet in there too. Don't skip any chains and then you double crochet across that bridge. I don't know why I keep calling it a bridge, but it's the chain 10 row that I just did. <laughs> yeah, you double crochet if I can get it right. And you go around the leg hole as many times as you need to. I always do about, you know, maybe three to four rows, maybe two. It just depends how it looks when you put it on, if you like it or not. So I'm going in every chain. And when you get to the end of that chain, you want to slip stitch that row together. So you can begin your next row and of course I'm not going to show it because it's basically what I'm doing right now you just double crochet however many rows you want to do the longer the better um, yeah. and that's basically how it's looking so far and you're going to do the same thing on the other side um, of the shorts and you're going to see what the crotch area starts to look like so yeah I think I'm just showing the edging um, of the shorts I just went around it again with the um the green and double crochet and now I'm going to have double crochet around that because I didn't want to make them too much longer but I did want to give it a little bit of length without doing a whole nother double crochet row like I said I was running out of yarn so yeah <clears throat> just 
go around. And eventually they will start to really look like shorts. And these are super duper easy. They worked up so quick. I don't even know why the tutorial is so long. <laughs> like, I feel like I make these in no time. I can make like 10 of these a day with no problem. Super easy. So now I'm just cutting my yarn and basically it's the end. When I come back, I think I'm gonna show you um, the finished outfit. So yeah, super duper easy guys. As usual, here you go. Now this is what the crotch looks like because you would go around the other side of the leg in those same chains. The same 10 chains that you did the other crochet on, you go in that same, um, those same 10 chains to make the other pants, um, the other leg holes. So yeah, this is basically it. So easy. And you can continue to make them longer and make them pants whatever you want. Now these shorts, like I said, I made these with a slip stitch. I slip stitched the front and the back of the shorts together and then I created the leg holes. I did it different from how I did this one, but it's okay. <laughs> so yeah, guys, here's a video of the shorts. I made them a little bit bigger than I made the other ones because I planned on eating a lot <laughs> on vacation and I didn't want my shorts to be too tight. So I made them a little bit bigger so yeah anyway guys thanks for watching i hope you guys enjoyed i hope your shorts come out super duper cute please like comment share, um, share the video and subscribe to my channel i really appreciate you guys oh yeah and i got like almost 3,000 subscribers thank you guys you guys are so amazing i'll see you guys in the next video bye